All right, this one's a little bit different, but it's also very much the same. All right, so if I wanted to solve for y, I mean, you could expand it, but that would be a huge pain in the rear. Let's just square root both sides of this thing, okay? Now, that is going to do, that's going to give us two answers on that, right? Because now I have the absolute value of y minus 3 equals the square root of 4, which really is 2 right so I can I can separate these now just like I would with the regular absolute value and then have y minus 3 equals positive 2 but I also have y minus 3 equals negative 2 right and I've got these two equations that I need to solve so I'm going to add 3 to both sides of both equations just to get the y by itself and I get y equals 5 here, and I get y equals, that's a plus 3, 1 right here. Now you should check this in the equation, and you'd find that, uh, well, that's true.